Oh, hey there, people. I bet you didn't expect this, did ya? You're probably thinking, wow, Pumpkin actually got off his lazy ass and made a video for his viewers to watch. Cause he cares. Well, you'd be mistakenly wrong. It takes a lot more to try and get me to be productive. Trust me, I should know from a lot of experience. Heck, I'm currently sitting here right now with a bag of Doritos in my hand and sitting on the couch as I watch Netflix, like I have been for the past six hours. Now, if you excuse me, I need to get back to my show. It's getting real intense over here, for both the show and for me. God damn it, Dora, Abuelita's house is right there. <laughs> Hello, people of the internet. Now, if you're done watching cute cat videos on YouTube, I'm here to show you the most life-saving little feature added to Drizendrak. I'm going to show you how you can start the rocket test fire whenever you want. Now, with this tiny little feature and or easter egg, you can get one of the pieces for those gravity spike toothpick thingies or complete your fireball step. You know, whatever floats your titanic. Anyway, first thing you need to do is you need to fill up all three of your dragons and head up to grab your Wrath of the Ancients bow. The next thing you need to do is you need to head up the stairs into the central command area, or the church as some people call it, and you need to shoot these three green circles in a certain spot and in a certain order. The first one you want to shoot is this one right here, and you have to aim right in the center of that circle. The second green circle is an overview of the map Moon, and you need to shoot in the center of the MPD. The third and final one is also Moon, and you basically want to do the same thing you did to the second one. For each one of those, you needed to do a non-charged shot from your bow. If you did do a charged shot, you need to start over the game and try again. Next thing you need to do is you need to look at the silhouette of the man, knife it, and hold square. After that, teleport to the rocket pad. Successful. Now in doing this, you will set coordinates for the rocket to launch to, but since the rocket can't launch, it will just test fire. Now this is the most final and tedious step. If you fail to do this, basically th th that's it, you, you can't do it anymore. I recommend making a crawler. Now you need to throw two grenades and make sure that they explode inside the rocket. Also, try not to kill a crawler like I did. This will make it much harder on yourself. Now after that, you need to send Morse code into the rocket as such. One long one. A short, a short. Another short. One long. Another long. A short. Long. Short. Long. And ha! Would you look at that? The rocket's firing! And there you have it. How to start the rocket whenever you want. Now I just have to get the Ragnarok piece and hopefully not die like I did, sadly. Now you can go home, try it yourself, and get the Ragnarok piece or the Firebow done much quicker than usual. No need to thank me. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this sick and awesome and totally legit tutorial, how about giving it a thumbs up? Also comment, tell me what you think. I'd really love to know what you thought about it. Wanna subscribe for more things that I do? I mean, it's free. What's better than free? Well, I guess free food, but that's not the point. If you want food, go to Food Network or something. Why are you even here? Okay, let me stop. I got, I'm going off topic. It's late at night again. I need to head out. So I'll see you guys later. Have good times and good everything.